Hi guys, what I will show you in this video is a must have life skill in my opinion. How to make super soft idlis. This is a 3 in 1 batter. You can make idlis and with slight additions you can make paneeram and dosa too. This video is all about tips for making soft idlis. The very first tip is get the correct proportion of ingredients. Take 3 cups dosa rice. It is a little thick variety of rice. Wash well and add fresh water. Take 1 cup urad dal. Wash this well and add fresh water. The second tip is to soak everything separately. Soak these two for 5 to 6 hours. Take 1 cup poha or beaten rice. Wash well and add fresh water. Soak this for only 15 minutes. The third tip is to grind everything separately as they need different times to become smooth. For the rice, add 1 and a quarter cup water and grind this to a smooth paste. The fourth tip is to get a thick consistency smooth batter. Grind the urad dal with half cup water. Note the consistency as it is very important. Grind the poha with half cup water. You should have a silky smooth batter. Add 3 teaspoons salt. Fifth tip is to mix the batter with your hands as this will help the batter to ferment well. This is a perfect consistency. Add a few spoons water if your batter is too thick. Cover and keep in a warm place to ferment for 8 to 10 hours. See the fermented batter. Mine took 8 hours. It depends on the room temperature. The batter has risen well. It is thick and frothy. This means that it has fermented well. See this close up also. Grease the idli plate with oil. Pour in the batter. This is ready. If you do not have an idli plate, use any flat plate like this. Grease it with oil. Make sure to get the sides. Pour in the batter. Tap to spread it evenly. Leave some space on top for the idli to rise. Boil water in a steamer or a pressure cooker without whistle. Place the plates. Steam for about 15 minutes on medium flame. Our steaming hot idlis are ready. My sixth tip is on how to remove the idlis without breaking them. You need water and a flat spoon. Run the wet spoon along the edges. Wet the spoon again if idli is sticking. Gently separate underneath. and the idli is out for the plate idli first cut into four pieces run the knife along the edges gently separate underneath with the knife and lift it out with the flat spoon check out my idlis all ready for ganesha puja super super soft maligay idli melt in your mouth deliciousness enjoy and happy ganesh chaturthi everyone if you like this video please like and share it subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the profile picture here thank you